On behalf of the people of Canada, I would like to say that I am profoundly sorry for everything anyone ever did or didn't do, thought or didn't think in our country's past. It was wrong and I apologize. How often have Canadians heard that line? Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has perfected the art of the dramatic and highly political historical apology. He has apologized for native policy, human rights policy, health care policy, refugee policy, centuries old court decisions and on and on. In each case there is an action or incident that conflicts with modern sensibilities. But in each case there is also a broader historical context that's being ignored. Focusing solely on apologies means we're only getting part of the story. With this in mind, my recent piece in C2C Journal looks at Mexican President André Obrador's recent demand that Spain and the Vatican apologize to the indigenous peoples of his country for, quote, violations of what we now call their human rights following the conquest of Mexico 500 years ago, beginning with the arrival of conquistador Hernán Cortés in 1519. Cortés's conquest of the Aztec Empire is now considered to be one of the darkest moments in humanity. If you know only one thing about Cortez, it's probably Neil Young's song, Cortez the Killer. But while Cortez was a soldier who fought his way to victory, his story is a lot more complicated than the simple song lyric. Aztec society prior to contact with Cortez was perhaps the most cruel and routinely murderous in human history. To ensure the sun would rise on a daily basis, priests would cut the hearts out of live victims. Their heads would be cut off and put on racks for public display. Their limbs eaten. On official orders, every year thousands of indigenous Mexicans were killed this way. Theirs was a government that routinely and methodically murdered its own people. Cortez, for all his flaws, was outraged by this indiscriminate slaughter, and he put a stop to it everywhere he went. He even risked his alliances with tribes opposed to the Aztecs by tearing down their sacrificial altars and interrupting their services. So if we're talking about the human rights of indigenous Mexicans circa 1519, we should be asking ourselves, does Cortez's conquest require an apology or a thank you note?